guys and welcome back to my channel creative hands by Shay. so today in this tutorial i will be showing you how to make a flower coaster so uh you know that spring just started so i wanted to do uh something with flowers because you know that the flowers will start springing back grass will start coming green again and the trees will all have leaves again so i wanted to do something in a nature form so guys if you're new to my channel welcome thank you for stopping by i hope that you will stay here with me and i hope that you will love this tutorial and to my regular viewers and subscribers thank you so much guys so guys i have uh, my materials here on, on my table i have my scissors i have my 3.0 millimeter crochet hook my darning needle i have um some cotton blend yarn here uh these are like use up Re, well um, I used them before uh, so you don't need a lot of yarn to complete this um, coaster depending on how much coasters you're making though and I have my Bernat Handicrafter here which is cotton so this one is 100% cotton so guys uh, let's jump in the video so guys um, with these coasters that I am making I am actually using different colors for the base of the coaster so I am changing from the yellow that I showed you previously uh, to the blue. So I will be sh using blue to do my demonstration and how to make the coaster. So um, to begin, you will make a magic ring. So you can make your magic ring however comfortable you feel uh, making it. But what I do is to wrap it around my fingers, insert my hook, pull up a loop. Once I have done so, I will go ahead and chain two. Now that I have chain two, uh, you will yarn over going to the circle or ring and you're going to make a double crochet. And you're going to make a total of 12 double crochet in this ring. So I'm going to continue making my 12 double crochet and once I am done, I'll meet back up with you. So now I have come to the end of making my 12 double crochet and I'm just going to tug on my string here for my tail end to close the middle part up. And now we are going to slip stitch on top of our first double crochet. So now that we have done so, we are going to chain up two. Chain two does not count as a stitch, it's just there as a returning chain. Now you're going to yarn over, go back into that same stitch, and you're going to make one double crochet and two double crochet. So in each stitch right around, you will be making two double crochet in that stitch at the end you should have a total of 24 double crochet so continue making your double crochet two double crochet in each stitch right around and i'll meet you at the end so now i have come to the end of row two and this is what it looks like so we have our 24 double crochets here and now you're going to do a slip stitch on top of your first double crochet. Chain up two as usual. Into that same stitch, you are going to make only one double crochet. Into the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochet. So the sequence for row three is one double crochet then two double crochet in the next stitch. You're gonna continue that same sequence right around and you should have a total of 36 double crochet at the end. So I'll meet you at the end of row three. So guys, now I have come to the end here and I have my last stitch remaining. So you're always going to end with two stitches in one stitch there. 
so that's how you will end two stitches in your last stitch there or two double crochet in your last stitch that's how you always end uh, your row and you have a total of 36 so now moving along slip stitch on the top of your first double crochet do your chain two and if you notice that your work starts to curl like this don't worry, don't be panic. Um, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just sometimes um, that happens. So I don't want you to get all panicky and saying, oh, I don't think I'm doing it right. You are doing it right, okay? So now moving along, we are going to do one double crochet into our first stitch there. Into the next stitch, we are gonna do one double crochet And then into the third stitch, you're going to do two double crochet in that stitch. So the sequence for row four is uh, one, two, so one double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the uh, third stitch and then you will continue doing that again make it one double crochet one double crochet and then two in the next so you'll continue that right around and you should have a total of 48 stitches at the end so I'll continue doing that and I'll see you there so guys now I've come to the end of making my um, fourth row here and I have my total of 48 stitches. Moving along, I'm gonna make my slip stitch. And our last and final row, we are going to chain up two as usual. Go into that same stitch, make your first double crochet. And in this round, we will be making three double crochets in separate stitches and then two in the next. So you should have a total of 60 double crochet at the end. So, one, 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 and then two in the next. Another set of three. One, two, three, and then two together. So continue doing that right around and I will meet you at the end. So now I have come to my final stitch here and I'm going to make my two double crochet. And then slip stitch on top. And that completes our last row for the base of the coaster. So now we are going to fasten off. So I'm going to chain one. Just pull down on that. And you can go ahead and weave in your tail end if you don't want to do it at the end. I like to weave in as I go along because I hate to weave in afterwards. So I'm just going to show you how to do your weave in. So basically you will go underneath the stitches, making sure that um, you're not going on the outside of the stitch, meaning on this right side here. Make sure that it's underneath that you're going. So you basically put your needle anywhere as long as you are not doing it where it is showing on the other side. So I'm basically going underneath the stitches. And when you think you have weaved in enough where it's not going to go and loose, then you can go ahead and cut the tail end off. So now moving along, we will get our next yarn here. 
and you're going to attach that onto that first stitch. You can do it wherever you want, but I like to do it on the first stitch where I fasten off. So I'm going to attach my yarn here. I'm going to give it a chain one. And give it a tie so that it's stayed, stays secure. And then I'm going to chain up one, two, three, and four. So that is going to count as our treble crochet. So that's going to be our first treble crochet there. You are going to yarn over twice. You're going to insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through your last two. You are going to chain one, two, and three. You're going to yarn over twice. Go back into that same stitch and make a treble. So pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. You're going to do the same thing again. And that completes our first um, base for the flower. And now what you're going to do, you're going to chain one. You're going to count one, two, three, four. You're going to skip four stitch and into the fifth stitch. You're going to yarn over twice again. And you're going to make a treble crochet there. So just as we did into our first uh, base for the flower, we're going to do the same thing here. You can feel free to slow down the video if you think I'm going too fast. Chain up three. Yarn over twice. Go back into that same stitch. And do your treble. Chain one. Skip four, one, two, three, four, going to the, the fifth stitch and make your treble. Again. Chain up three. Run over twice, go back into that same stitch and make your treble last treble and continue doing that right around and i will meet you back when we get back to this part here so guys now i have come to the end and this is what it looks like so far so now you have um one two three one, two, three, four stitches remaining. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chain two and make a slip stitch on top of our chain four there. And that completes the base for the flower. So now we are going to fasten off. So chain one and fasten off. And then moving along, we will be getting our pink here. And we're going to attach the pink to this part here. So go inside of the chain three and attach the pink, chain one, give it a tie. And then you are going to go ahead and chain up one and two. And that counts as our first double crochet. You're going to yarn over and you're going to put five double crochet into the chain three space. You should have a total of six 
at the end because our chain two here counts as a first double crochet. So we're almost done making our coaster, guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now that you have made six uh, double crochet, you're gonna pull up on your yarn. You're gonna insert your hook into the first stitch, which is our chain two here. Our first um, double crochet, which is the chain two. So go into the top, and then you're gonna pull this part here and you're gonna pull it through so you can already see that it forms like a flower like a tulip so but we will not be leaving it like that we will chain up one two and three now you are going to go on top of each double crochet so it's going to look like you're not seeing the stitch but eventually you will actually see it so just insert your your hook into the top of one of the double crochet there and make a slip stitch you're going to chain up three again go on top make a slip stitch chain up three one two three go on top slip stitch chain up three on top chain up three one two three and the last one here slip stitch chain up three and then into this part here where we lock uh, the stitches you're gonna make a slip stitch there So now you can see the top of the flower looking all cute. Now you are going to chain up three. And you're going to make one single crochet here. Chain one. Go into the next um, chain three space and do basically the same thing that we just did here. So feel free to rewind the video. Remember you're making six double crochet. So feel free to rewind the video if you did not get that so that you'll be able to get it. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull up on your yarn, insert your hook into the first double crochet and pull through then you're going to chain up three make slip stitch chain up three slip stitch on top of the next double crochet chain up three slip stitch again you should have six of these little petals. I will call them my little pebble uh, petals here. And this is our last one go inside where we lock the flower and make your slip stitch chain up three make a single crochet into our chain one space chain up one and repeat the steps you will see that the thing the coaster starts to curl in don't worry about it it will come out later on so continue doing that right around and I will meet you at the end here and I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to the end here and I have my chain up of three here and 
remember we have our chain two here left back we are now going to do a single crochet there and then chain up three one two three and then what you're going to do is you are going to slip stitch into our um first double crochet here so we're just going to go into that and make a slip stitch chain one and fasten off so you will see that your coaster looks something like this don't worry about it it will flat out so we're just going to fold over our coaster like this and pull onto your flower just pull onto each and there it is so our coaster is now completed looking all cute you can see on into the back part here and you're just gonna go ahead and weave in all your tail end do it exactly the same way how I showed you how to and um, yeah that's how your coaster is so it's looking super cute and now what we're gonna do is we are going to move on to making the pot so we are going to use our yellow to make the pot you can use any color of your choice and I'm gonna change my hook to a size 5.0 millimeter crochet hook and um, to begin we will make a magic ring so just as we did before and we are going to chain one and make a single crochet into our ring so we're gonna make eight single crochets so that's one two three four five six seven and eight so one two three four five six seven eight now you're gonna pull on your string to close that part up and now moving along going on to row two you will make your first um, single crochet into this one here so you're not gonna slip stitch you're just gonna make a single crochet into our first stitch here and you're gonna use a stitch marker to mark that first stitch into that same stitch you're gonna make one more single crochet and into each and every stitch around you're gonna put two single crochet you should have a total of 16 at the end so continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of making round two so now I have come to the end there and I have my total of 16 make sure that you have 16 remove your stitch marker and into that stitch we are going to put two single crochet so that's one is your stitch marker and two into the next stitch we will put one single crochet into the next we will put two single crochet so the sequence for row three is two single crochet in the first stitch then one single crochet in the next so continue doing that same thing right around repeat that and I will meet you at the end you should have a total of 24 stitches so now I have come to the end of row three removing my stitch marker 
And what we're going to do now is we are going to work into the back loops. So we are going to do single crochets all around into the back loop. So this loop here is considered your front loop, these ones here, and these ones are considered your back loop. So you're just going to go into the back and make one. You're going to use your stitch marker again to mark that first stitch. And continue working into the back loops of each and every stitch around. So I will see you at the end of row four. Should have a total of 24 stitches. So now we are back to where we started here and this is what the bottom of the pot looks like. So what you can do is you can go ahead and weave in your tail end here. Uh, just to get it out of the way. As you know, I really don't like to weave in afterwards. And it's better to weave in now because we will be working up into the pot. Okay, so this is not cooperating with me. Let me try it again. And just weave in underneath cut your excess off and now moving along so from uh, row 5 to 6 you will make one single crochet in each stitches so go into your first stitch here and make and you're going to go into boat loops now make one single crochet right around so i will see you at the end of row six So remember to do the same exact thing as we did before when you get to your stitch marker. So now I have come to the end of row six. So we're going to remove our stitch marker. And you will notice that your pot starts to take its shape. So you're just going to flip that over. So we are working on this side here. So now moving along, going on to row seven, we will be doing some increases. So you're going to make two single crochet into our first stitch here. So that's one into the same stitch. You're going to make another single crochet. And into the next stitch, you're going to make one single crochet and then two single in the next. So that's a sequence for row seven. You should have a total of 32 single crochet at the end. So continue doing that and I'll see you there. So now I have come to the end here and I am just going to move along, moving along to row 8. So from row 8 to row 10, you will only do one single crochet into each stitches around. And remember to use your stitch marker so you don't lose your stitch. So continue doing that and I will meet you at the end of row 10.
So remember, you're only doing a one single crochet in each stitches around. So now I have come to the end of row 11 and our last and final row we will be doing the brim of the pot. So we're going to do a slip stitch here. We're going to chain one and this is what our pot looked like so far. So you can see it's sitting down. It is sitting. And we are going, when we chain our one here, we are going to turn our work and we are going to work into the back loops here. Single crochets right around. So go into that first stitch there. And make your single crochets. So continue doing that and I will meet you at the end. So now I have come to the end here and I'm going to make a slip stitch on top. and fasten off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my needle here and weave in the tail. So I'm just going to go into the front loop here on this side and then go into this loop here on the other side and kind of go down into another part there so I hope you can see that well kind of to make it look clean a cleaner cut on top you can see that and then continue to weave in the tail end And then cut the excess off and our pot is now completed all you have to do is just put the flap down like that and there is your pot so you can see so now we have completed our little um, coaster with our pot and um, what you will do is you will just fold the coaster into two like this or you, you can even do it like roll it and then you will stick it in. Do the same with the rest of them, roll it. So I did three coasters and then I'll do the same with this one here and just give it a roll. And I'll put this one here on this side. So this pot can only hold like three coasters. So if you want your pot to be bigger, all you have to do is make um, your foundation a little bit wider and then add more rows to it. So there it is. It is looking super cute. Look at that. So there it is, guys. So I hope that you love this tutorial and I hope that... 
uh, you were able to make one of your own you can see that it looks so cute and it is standing up cute like a little flower pot you can just fix them nicely so that they look lushy and fluffy so guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye